Hello, gr.org. This is Shane's and Sandland coming at you with another replay. Here at Angoville, between two players, we have Charles Darwin as Americans and Armstrong as Axis Wehrmacht. So say hello, Sandland. Hello. How are you doing, James? Had a good weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I haven't done much recently, actually. I've just been playing some Bad Company too. Yeah. And that's probably it. Great game, though. And yeah, it's actually very fun. It's uh, like... When you shoot uh, with the sniper, you the angle must be perfect, because the bullet actually... Yeah, yeah, the bullet actually Angles. falls in that. Yeah, I think that, that's awesome. They have those physics. But anyway, we should start this game. Yeah, I'm just going to say I'm watching. I'm going to be watching Charles Darwin, STG. Charles Darwin. And looks like he's starting on the top of Ango. Yep. And I'm going to be watching. Aim strong, uh, and he is on his Smurf Gary, by the way. Yeah. So do the countdown, please. All right, let's get this game started in three, two, one. On pause. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Nice. Well. Um, just gonna say we were gonna do this a bit earlier, I think on Wednesday or something like that, but we got delayed due to football and and all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that Arsenal versus stuff. Bar Barcelona game. Yeah, and the Manchester versus Bayern Munich. Yeah. Damn, that was a shit game. <laughs> How Manchester could throw that away, I still don't know. Yeah, but the Rob Robin, I think his name is, did a very yeah, nice goal. Yeah, oh, that that was a brilliant goal. But maybe we should talk about CH now, or what do you think? Well, Just maybe talking we about should. Everything else. Yeah. I mean, it is CH we're casting, right? Yeah, I think so. At least well. those are Volks. I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, it's not players running around on the football field. <laughs> yeah. We should do a mod where we can add the football to the game. Yeah. The Volks can run around and play with it. Or maybe not. <coughs> So uh, the Volks are capping the the strat point, and Armstrong is gonna cap the fuel on the right hand side, and also the high munis. Yeah, interesting that he's going right hand side. Normally, don't see that from Wehrmacht. Also, I'll just quickly say that all standard from the American player to engineers and second rifle coming out just now. Yeah, so um, one rifle at one it, at each side I mean. Yeah. So there's classic opening from Americans on angle. And uh, Armstrong has uh, put up some wire in his base and at that middle house there so he can't be flanked at the strat point which is always good to do when you're playing in this type of strat yeah you you must be doing that a lot since you always play forward HQ on this map <laughs> yeah I usually do that wire in the uh, access base but I don't do the wire between the house and the hedges there Nah, that's that would just annoy you. 
more than yeah you need to gain. you need to reinforce and build more volks so they can go quickly into the field you can't have yeah, a wire there we just we just saw some rifles trying to go between the wire and uh, the ba base and that yeah but decided they to noticed they count. not to <laughs> We have a big flank here in the middle now. Three rifles and two walks. So those walks should get out of there. They don't, don't stand a chance. But they are indeed like the focus, focus firing. He's focus firing. So yeah. I mean, he's got two low health rifle squads. All three rifles yeah, I think down to under half health now. So I think I think he's actually going to win this. Yeah, that was, that was weird because Charles Darwin didn't focus fire and he lost the engagement because of that. Oh, we have a Oh, and he got, he got an early mine down. <laughs> but the... Wasn't... Is it completed? I think the Pyos just what walked... What happened? The, yeah, it's completed, but the Pyos just walked over... Anyway. Huh. That was weird. Then we have a sniper for the, for the Wehrmacht. Or did I hear wrong? Or? No, that's correct. We have a sniper with two kills already. So. Oh, and he didn't walk on the mine. Darwin is gonna hold. No, but the MG is gonna walk over the mine right now, and he did, and he lost one man. But not a huge loss, I think. Oh, Flamus losing to, to not Flamus dying to standard wow. engineers. That's unlucky. Those engines must have getting uh, some really good hits on those. Yeah, no now. flame, no flame crit. Huh. The sniper is picking out. More rifles. Good mic ring with the. Uh, he's not just standing in one spot all the time, he's constantly moving it around, which you should do as the Wehrmacht sniper. So he can't. Yes, I can't be flanked. I mean, yeah. Because that's like your only threat. Here early game, either jeep or or flank. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at look at the MG in the base. Just yeah, I, s I see that. Weird. It doesn't have the. It was set up in the wrong place, actually. Looked so like he, Charles he, Darwin he wanted shoot. to to walk into the base or something like that, but that MG just stopped <laughs> him in his tracks there. Maybe he was trying to do a see my base rush, but he changed his mind. Yeah, I think he wanted to walk in there and just stop the tier 2 building from coming up. Oh, a huge MG oh, nice. suppressing everything. Nice MG. <laughs> yeah. And if we have a full retreat from ex uh, allies. Really nice MG. And we've got a uh, M8 coming out. Is he making oh, a pack? Already. Yeah, there's a pack in the making, and it's almost two thirds. Oh, I mean, almost 50% done. But he's gonna go for the cutoff point now. Aim strong. Yeah, he's already had that once. He's doing a good job of taking the cutoff. Yeah. And I think Charles Darwin is gonna cap the whole right side now because he's moving all his infantry over there. Well, his M8's coming out. Towards his cutoff. Let's see if he's able to get it there before the pack shows up. 
Yeah, the pack is moving up all right now, so the M8 is gonna have problems soon. The enemy advances. Yeah, it's it's moving away. We have away mines now. on the road, middle road now. Oh, and I think the M8 is gonna right go right into right. the mine. Yep. Oh, oh nice. it didn't. Oh, that's <laughs> lucky. <laughs> yeah. It's those moments in CH you just. Oh, flame engine went down. Yeah, but he... And he didn't even get the strat points to his favor. That was a maybe unnecessary loss for him. Yeah, I think it was a bit unlucky, actually, because he just all yeah, of the sudden lost both his men in the squad. Oh, so the MG was shooting at the same time when the sniper killed the last guy? What happened? Oh, I think the MG shot shot one of the men and then the sniper took out the last one. Grenadiers fighting rifleman in the right right hand side VP near the axis base. But the M8 is gonna fend them away. We have only really one guy left. Oh he retreat now. Good. I mean, the American player is floating 400 manpower at the moment. I think he's oh, okay. saving up for bars. He's got the fuel and everything for bars, but ah, oh, he decided to get a weapons port center. Okay. To get a counter he snipe, I'm guessing. Yeah. The sniper oh, has nine mate, kills mate so far. walking into the bar. Into the base, it decloaking the oh. pack. Pack misses. Oh, the pack misses. What the hell? It usually, one shots everything <laughs> and never misses a shot. I did. I didn't know that oh, well. the pack could miss in this patch. Yeah. I hope they fix it in the next patch. It shouldn't be like this. Is he upgrading strikes on any of his grenadiers there? Because he's gonna need it, otherwise ah. this M8 can just go He doesn't have any munis everything. for it. Oh yeah, so he spent it on, um, on MP40s for his uh, folks. Yeah, exactly. Oh, mine, mine coming down. No. Whoa. Oh, no mines. Okay. You should do a M8 mine by the pack. Because there's so much shit over here. And it just got hit by one or two Panzer Fausts. It was one, because he had he has seven munitions at the moment, so he spent it all on the Faust there. Oh, but how can one Faust take it down so much? I think, shouldn't you normally use the three Fausts to kill one, um, one and eight? You see the Damaged MG bunker? Body. It's damaging the engine, yeah. So maybe now it was the MG bunker. Uh, now he's uh, laying a mine right on the pet gun. And he's Whoa. gonna drive out. That's gonna hurt if he goes there. Oh, oh pet gun down and the whole squad. Full squad down. Yeah, gotta love those some eight mines. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. And he is just limping away with that damage and you. <laughs> we got level uh, 2 veterancy though. So he should be able to survive. And we have got we a triad center from the American. And he should be getting a sniper any moment now. Yeah, sniper. Nice. So the Axis Sniper can't roam around freely like it's, it's doing uh, does he moment. Does he have a Muni for Panzerfaust? Yeah, he's Panzerfausting now. 
Oh. Yeah. I don't want to lose those. Bet better the M8s. They are, do some really nice damage, and they have nice speed act speed uh, increases when you get level one. Can well, at least you can use them to to stop harassing. Yeah, they are very useful. But now we have packs, and we're going to get. Answer checks, I think, because yeah, he's ground. actually salvaging the M8 at this point on the right. MG pushed off from their left hand side. Stamers doing an excellent job. And we're gonna see maybe the sniper could uh, fool those rifles into the mine in the middle, or oh, maybe not. Uh, he tried to bait it, but wasn't Maybe able to. Oh, and um, the, the American player has gone uh, infantry. He's uh, oh, okay. he's gone left hand side for rangers. Hmm. Maybe he's expecting Pumas. But we have tier 3 up at the wall, so. Oh god damn that Axis sniper just uh, took out two engineers in a matter of oh, three seconds. But he oh, goes down to a mine. Into a mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. And nice now that mine like plans. snipers just gonna have a field there and killing everything. Yeah. Oh and we've got bars. Okay. So it doesn't look very good for Armstrong at this point. Because I mean, um, Charles Darwin has a lot of rifle squads and he has a sniper who can deliver much damage while Axis can't really do anything. Oh, and he walked into the mine in the middle. Yep. Two of his rifles. How much. How, much, how many grenadiers does uh, Armstrong have? He has three grenadiers and one works squad. And an MG and two Pios and a pack. So no big right, force it, actually. It's actually yeah. fairly balanced then because we've got four rifles for uh, for Charles Darwin. Oh, one man squad going nearly going down. Yeah, it went down. So we've only got oh. three rifle squads. Uh Inji with a minesweeper and a sniper, and he's got 500 uh, manpower. Oh, he decided to make a new rifle. Maybe we should take the time to do a time sync now. I'm at the 16, 33, 34, 35, 36, 7 mark. Yeah, I was about one second ahead of you. Okay. And we have the uh, terror chosen by Armstrong. He has the ability to do propaganda war. Oh, and we've got a uh, rifle ranger squad popping out. He's upgrading Thompson's on on them. Yeah, that could be very useful because. Armstrong doesn't have any veterans here on his units, so those Thompsons are gonna do some really nice damage. But they, yeah, especially the sniper if they can on the get right is early, revealed. Early kills. Oh, he's. he's oh, dead. he oh. died. <laughs> he had uh, like a fourth. Uh, he had like fourth uh, health point left. I mean. Those shouldn't. Well, that's that shouldn't be a, that shouldn't happen. I mean, that's no. those grenadiers just got two crits on them or something like that. Yeah, so was, uh, that was very lucky from Armstrong actually. Do we have any kind of veterancy upgrading on the Axis infantry? No, we did. We don't even have the building. The I don't remember the name for it. 
Kamp Kampcraft Center. Oh, the American just lost one more rifle squad. MG is getting flanked by the Rangers. It's probably going down because those Rangers are doing so long, so much damage. Barely get oh, out. Only, only just got out. Yeah. You should try retreating those should, Rangers. Retreat though. those Rangers, yeah. Those uh, grenadiers with the bar there. Uh, those. They did a lot of damage. Yeah, now there's uh, the lying. On. Oh yeah, the bots are gonna pick it up. You know, after f after you fired up some infantry, you can do that with airborne or rangers. They take a lot more damage when they are like red after they fired up. So if you don't, if you didn't know that, that's a good tips to retreat after they get red. They also take a lot more damage from MGs when they're fired up because they're not like getting suppressed, so they take a lot more damage. Yeah, that's true. So it's not always wise to fire up and run straight into an MG. Might just get you killed. Yeah, you should always try to run around it, even though you're fired up. If you're able to do that. And the, the rifles capping the left hand side munis were actually prop ward. I don't really know the point of that though. Oh, the grenadiers on Oysman. the left. There's a uh, oysman on the uh, right hand side. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that we have tier four up. The oysman is gonna have a shooting <laughs> practice <laughs> because there's no AT on the field from shot dog. Only thing he has one. There's one <laughs> one ranger with one bazooka in him. Yeah, that's not a, gonna not do the do job. Anything. And I don't even think he's got stickies, so that Oysterman could just okay. drive right into the base and... He does have uh, some mines lying around though, so it should be fine. But you do, do really need an AT gun to counter the, the Oysterman. Sorry, I'm still a bit tired. Yeah, you don't want okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, make, no he's making an AT gun now. Okay. We have another Ostwin on the way from the Panzer Command. So he, he's able to flank the AT with one uh, Ostwin while the other is taking damage. How many shots is it uh, Oysterman can take from an AT gun? Is it three or four? Hmm. On yeah, that's, that's that's probably four or three, yeah, maybe. But if you get the armor piercing right or armor piercing rounds, you actually take it takes two shots, I think. So you should always try to do armor piercing rounds when you meet a tier 4 player. Because that makes yeah, that's a huge difference. That's about the only way you can penetrate a panther anyway. Yeah, if it, uh, if it doesn't show its ass to you. <laughs> yeah. Buy some 4 micro. Doesn't look very good for Charles Darwin right now. 
doesn't have any fuel income and a well, few it's rifles like and he's, a AT gun. It's not like he's spending his fuel, he's got 220. Okay, maybe you should get fuel. some supply yard upgrades. Yeah, at least supply yard upgrade. upgrade one or something like that. We're gonna see a propaganda war on the left hand side here, I think. Oh, maybe not. He had the munis for it. Oh, I've just been driving into a mine. Oh. Well, uh, he, should, he should be able just to flank that AT gun with his other Iceman then. Yeah. This Iceman might. Yeah, the Iceman just took the AT gun out head on. So. <laughs> oh, and Charles Darwin's only got immunity enough for one more sticky, so he's not even going to be able Whoa. to kill this Iceman. No. Huge loss for the allies there. And he's gonna attack ground on the AT gun, that's, that's a good idea. You don't want those lying around there on the field. Either capture them or kill them. I mean, destroy them. We have a Panther yeah. out now, too. And the game is almost <laughs> over, actually. Rangers getting prop board on the right hand side. Very nice job. And again, we've only got one AT gun for the Americans. So that's not gonna be enough. Against the three tanks. <laughs> Austin doing a lot of damage. Taking out three guys in like two seconds. Losing a sector. Well, maybe we should do another ta time sink. Yeah, I'm at the 25, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Nice. Good yeah. Oh, looks like we're go he's gonna lose a postman. Yeah. Yeah, it's been down. It's gonna. It's actually got a half track now. I wonder what he's gonna do with that. No, oh, his researchers. He's getting Stuka on them. It's something he you should, don't um, see. He should get some vets a lot. On his uh, on his tanks and infantry. Yeah, but he he still doesn't have built a single. He doesn't have built the cup. Uh, what is it called again? Uh, the Kamp Kampfkraft Center. <laughs> I have a hard time remembering the name of that. I don't know why. But he he hasn't built it yet. So. Stuka's coming in on the left hand side VP. Gonna hit nothing because they know it was coming. Attention, the enemy advances. Oh, Ooh, I spent nearly uh, down. Yeah, that's what I know. He has on to be better <laughs> dead. They're just getting teared up by, yeah, by AT guns. Oh, and we've got grenades researching, and he's popped out one more AT gun. Forward, supply lines are Ready for orders. Okay. One of our sectors has been cut off. We are losing ground. Oh, the Ostwin on the right is doing some real nice damage. Killed four guys, even after they retreat. losing territory. Look at the damage from the Osman, it's sick. Hitting everything that moves. I heard some place that the Osman should be bucked or something like that, but I don't 
at, in this see patch. how it's blocked. It? Yeah, in this patch. But I don't see how it should be blocked. I don't know actually. It was bugged in the previous patches. In the previous patch. Yeah. Yeah, where it could shoot all of a sudden, just shoot insanely fast. Yeah, it's really weird. They, I think they fixed that, but maybe it's still bugged out. Of me. Oh, and uh, we just had a bit of pack sniping on the AT gun, but we managed to get it away in time. We had pack sniping? Yeah, I didn't expect to to see that, to be honest. No, you don't want to see that. That's, that's not very fair to anyone. Looks like Charles Darwin. Is oh, grenade use killing this four bugs. Oh. We have a King Tiger out now, so. Yeah, lots of armor on the field. Yeah, still <laughs> no veterans here, but it's working. I'm really surprised. He's playing like the Russians. He's just getting a lot of units, but they're not very good. <laughs> yeah. And the KT oh, well. is actually standing right next to two mines there. Can you see it? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be too happy if it drives right into, into them. No. <laughs> He's been killing the rifles four are men so from a rifle. Yeah. No rifles time. Can't do. Can't even do anything. At this point, those twins are tearing them apart. He really needs oh, uh, like, and the Rangers. like he really, really needs uh, a tank depot or something like that to, to try and go around with his, yeah, yeah. With his uh, rifles and AT guns. Oh, and King Tiger get immobilized by the first mine. <laughs> That's one unlucky King Tiger. But he's only lost like a sliver of health, so it's gonna take no time if he decides to repair it. Yeah. But anyway, if there was uh, a lot of AT guns in the, in the area, yeah. they would have. Peck sniping killed it once again. Ah, uh, Aimstrong, don't, don't do that. That's just bad. He's, he's winning so badly and he's still pack sniping. I don't get it why he does that. He shouldn't do that at all. <laughs> Should I uncloak it before I shoot? Maybe you shouldn't shoot at all. Yeah, pack sniping is just <laughs> gay, I think. Yeah, total. I really, really there. hate when people do it against me, and I yeah. never do it myself. <laughs> yeah, the replay is almost over. Rifles getting yeah. torn apart. Look at that! Holy shit! Oh, and he's only wow. got 10 BPs left, so this game is over. Yeah. Charles Darwin's whining a bit, but pack sniping is not something you want to see. Playback over, by the way. I mean, yeah. levels. Such a high rank ranked player should be able to win uh, games without pack sniping. That's just wow. 
Well, that's one of the reasons I think that Wehrmacht's a bit easy to play this patch. I know uh, I've played a lot more American than I've played Wehrmacht, so I sh probably shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> Might be getting some flame about this spot, whatever. It's just like when you see Wehrmacht going for Tier 2 and Tier 3 and getting vehicle vet. It's just... If, if yeah. You People get a bit sad because it's so so hard to counter. You can't really get tank depot because of the pack is broken. You can't get AT guns because you can't hit the Pumas and the pack will just exactly. pack snipe exactly. you. And what are you supposed to do? Spam artillery. And then he goes into your base and puts a firestorm in it, so Yeah. But when you win against that strat, you feel really good afterwards. So yeah, that's true. And then you have to, then you're allowed to flame him a bit because he packs <laughs> my and pulls yeah, spam. Yeah, but it's and definitely a, it's definitely the most uh, the strongest strat in this patch. I think in one v one at, at least. Tier one, yeah, tier and it's two, it's tier it's three. about the f same thing you see in in two v two from dual Wehrmacht. One of them goes for for tier two to get packs, and then to tier four later on, and the other just yeah. gets pumas and a lot of them. But well, we didn't see pumas in this game. Um, yeah, he so did it purely with tier four, which is nice to see actually. A bit of yeah. pack sniping. Which you shouldn't um, use. Uh, other than the pack sniping, the uh, other stuff was really well executed. So props to Aimstrong. Yeah, and Charles Darwin should just keep his rifles alive. I think he lost about <laughs> two rifles or so. Yeah, maybe. Early to mid game. But so I don't. I'm not sure what he w could have done better though. With uh, maybe taking to Germans instead of AT guns. I don't know. I think M10s or or M18s Hellcats would have been a better choice. Yeah, maybe, but he did have a pax out, so I'm not sure if that's. Yeah, good. but just to just to try and hunt those uh, Oysterins down, then yeah. use your superior infantry because there's no veterancy on the. Wehrmacht infantry to just overrun the, right. the pack gun. And he was uh, a bit unlucky. The sniper went into a mine. Or what was that? Aimstrong sniper? I can't remember. How did uh, Charles Star? Oh yeah, Charles Darwin lost his sniper to those uh, grenadiers. That was a bit unlucky too. Oh yeah, well, they did. You're right. That's that's how how this with snipers, I guess. Yeah, maybe we should close this one up. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed the, the shoutcast. And that's all we got for you at this point. Yep. Bye-bye, folks. See ya.